Hey everyone, James Hurst, and in today's quick tips and tricks, I'm gonna show you the basics of how to import opportunities into high level. Now this is something that doesn't come out of the box, and so you kinda of have to understand the, the overall picture and framework for how to do it. Let me show you right now. Let's head on over to high level here, and what you're gonna have is uh, your contacts, right? So hopefully, if you're doing an import of opportunities, you're hopefully landed a bigger client that has an existing list, and they have already their deals in different stages and, and contacts. Um, and, and this is going to vary from platform to platform on how this data comes in. But at the end of the day, this is a simple example. And let me just zoom in a little bit here. Let's see here. So let's take a look at this. So real basic, right? First name, last name, phone, email, address, city, state. That's going to be what you would typically have on the contact record. Now over here is just a quick example of opportunity statuses and opportunity stages. So what's going to happen is you're going to import these contacts with the CSV, but then you're also going to have to fire off an automation to create those opportunities. That's how I've been taught how to do it. I talked to Sean Clark and that's how he kind of showed me how to do it. So let's go ahead and go through an example together. First of all, you're going to have to um, create a, a custom field for these extra things on the opportunity. So let's do that first. I'm going to head over to my test account here, go to settings, go to custom fields, and let's do add a field, single line, next, and we'll call this opportunity status. I'm just going to put a one there in case I have it there already. So there's opportunity status. I got to stick it in a certain spot, additional info. Okay. So there's the holding place for opportunity status. Now let's go ahead and do one for the stage. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So single line, opportunity stage one. Okay. So the stage is going to map to the different stages of the pipelines. Okay, so now we have a place for this to land. Now we need to make an automation that's going to create the opportunities around that. So let's go to automation. Let's go to create workflow from scratch. Create that workflow. We don't need a trigger because we'll be able to pick this uh, when we do the import. So all we need to do is come in here essentially and say, do an if else statement and say, Let's go ahead and branch on it. What stage is it? Okay. So we're going to come in here and we said opportunity stage one. Well, let's see here. We have some sample data. So we have a stage of lead. Okay. So if the stage is lead, then we're going to go down that branch branch uh, stage is lead. Okay, hit save. So that's the stages lead. Now we're going to say, undo another if else. And we're going to say, what is the status? What is the opportunity status? So we're going to come here and say status. Opportunity status is one. Okay, we can add another branch and say opportunity status is lost. Okay, and just to be careful, one and lost, those are lowercase. Let's just make sure those match. We want that to be matching that just in case that, that it cares uh, whether that matters, the whether it's case sensitive or not. Let's hit save action. So now that we have the stage and the opportunity status, now we can go ahead and create and update the opportunity. And so you would pick the pipeline and then you would pick the a corresponding stage. So I know I'm in this, I'm, I know I'm in the stages lead. So I'm going to basically pick it here. And then I know on this branching that this is the one. And so now I'm going to actually pick the one status here. Let me just name this a little bit better so it's very clear. So branch is one and branch is lost. Okay. And you would repeat this for abandoned and um, one open 
what do we have here? Lost, one, opened, and abandoned. Okay. So we would repeat this. And copy that step there. Copy action and paste it here. So now we know it's a lead. Still, it's still a lead status, but now still a lead stage, but now the status is lost. Okay. Save and publish this. So now we're ready to import these contacts. Not, not entirely, because you have a lot more stages to build out. Uh, each stage would need a branch and then each opportunity status. So you would basically repeat this process as often as you needed to. Okay, so let's go back to, and I'm probably gonna wish that I had named that, right? Oh uh, dear. Um, let's see if I can go back. You know, let me go back. Okay, 169 on there. 160. Let's see here. Maybe that's our guy. Let's hope. There's our guy. Okay. So we're going to call this um, import opportunities demo. I probably spelled that wrong, but for the sake of example, import opportunities demo. Let's go ahead and let's leave that there. Let's duplicate this. And now we're going to go um, import our CSV. But first I need to take this file here and uh, probably share or export. Uh, let's see, download. Download it as a CSV. So it's called sample contacts. Okay, so now we're going to go over here to contacts. And we're going to click on the import. So there's a bunch of bulk actions at the top here. We're going to click import contacts, upload a file. And then there's our sample contacts at the very top there. Okay, and then let's go ahead and let me just double check that I got the right file. Okay, it looks like I do. Okay, so let's hit next. And if the name matches the contact name, so first name's matching, if it matches, then it's gonna automatically come in. If not, then you're gonna to have to come in and set that manually. So opportunity status, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna start searching for opportunity status. There it is. And the opportunity stage is right there. So now everything's mapped. Then we hit next. This is important. You do need to expand the advanced options here because we're gonna automatically add them to that workflow, the one that's going to create those opportunities. So I think it had demo in the title. So yeah, import opportunities demo. So now we're basically going to drop these in and we're going to import the contacts and then that's going to fire off the uh, automation to create those opportunities. So let's take a look here. Okay, so the file's being processed. We're importing like four names, Michael Johnson, James Smith, Harry Baker, John Jones. We should have hopefully have some history here. There we are. So they've all come through here now. And then let's go back and see what we have on the opportunities page here. So let's close this down. Go to opportunities. And we wanted leads. Let's make sure we're in the right one. Let's check the history of that. So Harry Baker. Has an opportunity associated with him? He does not. So Harry Baker got brought in. And this is where the real fun begins. So the contact type is lead. We put the um opportunity status so abandon and lead appointment opportunity stage is lead appointment 
Let's take a look at that. Uh huh. Lead appointment. So that was that would have failed because that wasn't one of the oper that wasn't one of the actual types. So let's look at J Michael Johnson then. Okay, Michael Johnson. Let's see if we were able to make an opportunity for him. Scroll down. There we go. So lead in the party pipeline. There he is. It's a status of lost. So that's probably why we couldn't see it because it was a status of lost. So you would just come over here and do all. Maybe that finds the rest of them. So yeah, there's Michael Johnson. So you can see that's the beginnings of how you would import opportunities. It, it is a little bit complex. Um, it takes quite a bit of tries when you're uh, to get this right. Imagine you're about to do this for 10,000 contacts, right? So what I recommend doing is doing a little subset of data, have a have a, some variety in your test data, the status, the stage, uh, the contacts. Um, but hopefully this means you're about to land a big client. And with that, I wish you so much luck, guys, out there in your journey, um, hopefully getting big clients. And you have to do these kinds of imports. Um, and I'm sure Extendly can reach out, reach out to them. I'm sure they can help you if you guys get stuck with this. And with that said, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. To learn more about high level in a structured format, check out the GHLAcademy.com by Extendly. We promise to cut your overwhelm for learning high level. Just visit the GHLAcademy.com.